Hello there guys, my name is Jay or Gimpy Dwarf and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. So, after the recent oxygen update, I have been very busy building a station because I didn't want to build a large ship because I'm going to save that for the Fleet Commanders series. But, I have been building a station. Now, stations are something I don't normally build because I struggle to build them. But I've got a little bit more of inspiration now and also with the oxygen update I have been able to be a bit more creative in the way the station looks and the way it operates. So what have I been building? This is what I've been building. It isn't finished yet of course because the paint is not on it um, in the traditional alien colours which are black and purple but this is what I've got so far. Now this would be the alien squadron's forward operating base so this is where they would sort of you know do general operations from and generally you know just command ships from so this thing has a lot of a lot of potential I think and I've done quite a lot of you know the legwork at the moment I've just got a few things left to finish and then paint the whole thing which will be tedious and horrible but it's got to be done so this is what I've got now I've actually grinded down sections of this to make it look as if it's still in you know in production I am going to be doing that in other parts of the uh, station as well just to give it that element of realism where you know a station's never finished they're always adding something to it it's still quite flat on the bottom but that is quite a difficult thing to get away from but I will try and alter that as much as I can before it gets released to the workshop so what have we got first well in this side here we actually have a sort of landing area which has got like a weird shaped section here but it's a basically a landing area for cargo ships so a cargo ship could land here and then they could offload into you know into crates over here and I'm gonna look at maybe putting a system in with some connectors on the outside make it a little bit easier for some ships to connect up and drop stuff off but also I have this other section here which is a so this is for ships that may find it hard to get through there and they can be of any height but they, they can't be too big. So what we've got here is we've actually got a platform that lowers down and goes down to this level. So you can park a ship on here again, it can only be so small but it can be as you know as high as it wants as long as it's high enough to really move around. And then we've got a connector here. Now I'm going to look at putting some more connectors above this to maybe make it so that multiple ships can, you know, of different heights can connect to these. But this is the whole idea where you can drop the ship down and then you can offload. Also, to sort of control this section, we have this room here. This whole section in here is strictly for people with suits on. There is no reason or means to take your suits off at the moment in here. But in here we do have on one of these benches here we go we have controls for the lift as well as the connector that's out there and it's just like a bit of a control center with some servers in here just for managing like a foreman's office so he's going to manage what is coming in and out of the station and what things they need now of course a lot of the goods that they will be bringing back will be illegal goods because the you know the alien squadron don't really like corporations so they like to use them as an advantage by destroying their ships and reusing them or scrapping them completely now coming through this room here which is just off of the side of this main sort of landing area we have a section dedicated to a med bay so in here we have the uh, actually if I open that door again and um, in here we actually have the sort of uh, airlock for the med bay now what you've got to do is as you notice there's actually a uh, vent here if I hit this button here which closes this door and then if I hit that button it this turns this on and pressurizes it and then if I open this door I can just wander in so We've actually got another vent up here just, you know, because of course this room will be sealed and needs its own oxygen supply. So it's got all its own oxygen supply in here. We've got some beds, a med bay to take your helmet off as well, just in case you want to. And we've also got these um, dead tech health rechargers, which is really, really nice. So I'll go back through the procedure. So the way you go back through these is just go backwards through them. And then we can open up the door and head back outside. So... As you see there is no oxygen here but as soon as I close this the oxygen goes up to high. It's really really cool. 
So, let's go back outside and we'll go around to the other bay. So, coming around here, we do have a, another bay, but this bay is for more of the fighters. Uh, it's quite it's quite small. I actually didn't expect the, uh, the hound, which it's known as now, to be this big. But it is, and some of the other ships will fit comfortably in here. And you could probably fit three, maybe four in, depending on which ships you put in here. But it's a nice place to sort of store your ships just before, you know, before they take off and things. Or just to keep them in a, in a safe spot. There is no door to this. I was considering a door and then said, nah, let's not put a door on. I may do at the moment, but I also may put like a landing ramp out like I have there on this. Just to give it a little bit more space to park ships on. And, yeah, so that's the whole idea around the two bays. This one purely for fighters, the other one purely for storage and cargo movement. And we've got some really nice windowed areas as well, so you can look up and see the stars and things and just relax. Now, we do have two other landing areas, and what these landing areas are dedicated for is just visiting ships or larger ships, such as the version of the Redeemer that is currently in progress. So the Redeemer, I'm hoping, will sit on here nicely and, you know, people will be able to come in and out of here. And then we've got this one, which is just a little bit smaller than this and allows for the same thing. So let's drop down and let's go inside and show what's actually happened inside. I actually got a bit of a, before I forget to do this, I've been meaning to, to actually add the block into this and I just keep forgetting. So there we go. So going down here we have some entrances obviously to come around here and they are, they are fenced off so you can't just wander around you can of course fly off with your jetpack but you know it's just to stop people if the ship does get hit you can grab onto something so coming down here we have another door which this isn't airlocked because this is an area of the station which isn't airlocked it's like quite a large area so you have to wander around with your suits on but we have a nice overview of the living quarters which is airlocked so you can't you know sleep in here without a helmet on and things like that and we've got the airlocks there as you can see so we got some nice look, like decorations and some you know areas to store your gear come down here we've got some storage containment again because this this ship is going to be largely crew storage and then we'll need some defenses as well which will come later on so we come through here and we can drop through this door which of course takes us into here which again you see all those windows everything's windowed nicely so you can see things and then we've also got this door here and this back door there and then come around here we've got that door there so I think I will show you the back section I hope I'm in the right door I get lost in this place really easily so we'll close the back door pressurize and open this door there we go so pressurize nicely and then we're in here so this is where the heart of the station is. This is like the main area in which you need to really keep safe. Because in here is your oxygen production. So in here we have a lot of oxygen storage just in case you need to perform any maintenance and you can, you know, perform that on these blocks. It would be really cool if the blocks did degrade over time after you know so much usage and you had to keep on top of repairing them that would be pretty cool for certain blocks like the oxygen things but what this is is you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, you've got 20 oxygen storage containers which is quite a lot and then you've also got four generators as well as some vents you've got two vents in this room because it's a large room and it would take a, large, like a long period of time to fill up with just the one so we actually have two in here and we've got some nice windowed sections so we can see out into space again. It's all about sort of making this place look nice as well as being, you know, seen, being able to make things visible. So it's a, I, I really do like this room. It's very chaotic but organised and I, I really do like it. So that is that room and again it's got the oxygen it produces fills the room which is nice. So we can just close that off without fearing to suffocate anyone. And then going downstairs, again we've still got some things to add in here, maybe some seating areas and things. But coming down here, we actually have the reactor room. So down here there are six of the large azimuth reactors. And these things look gorgeous. I do like these because of the green colour on them. 
and they look like something from um, Iron Man, like Tony Stark's heart, which is really, really cool, and I love Iron Man. So we've got some lovely windows here that you can just, you know, again, just view out of, no, no real reason for them to be there, it's just personally viewing what's going on outside and what ships are flying around. And we may add some sort of maintenance area here where we've got some areas for, you know, some storage racks for repairing these, and maybe some chairs to monitor them and things. So, let's go back upstairs, close that door off. That does have its own oxygen supply as well. I don't think you... I don't think I showed you that. So, down here we do have the vents. We've got two in here again because it's quite a large room. So, that is crucial really. I would say... A room of this size, you would definitely need to to be sort of quick and speedy at filling the room with oxygen. Having one really doesn't do it justice, you really need two. So we'll close up this door and then we'll depressurize this room and then we'll open this door up in which the animation should happen, I hope. I hope. No, weird. It doesn't actually happen. The animation for the decompression doesn't actually happen when I'm recording which is weird so I we'll have to try and fix that but uh, either way we come down here we got some seats here I am starting to fill this section out we've got a bit more space here unsure what to do with it at the moment but when we come through here we got uh, we want to go one repressurize two there we go so in here, again, there are no lights in here at the moment, so it may not look the best, but that is purely because I do lights all at the end, because they add the most lag to the game. So, in here we've got some bedding and things just for the men to sleep in. It's very open plan, just so, you know, you can see what everyone's doing. And there's, there's a, a bit of bedding, but there's not that much, because this station wouldn't really be wouldn't have too many permanent members, permanent crew members. They'd just be sort of, you know, flying around most of the time trying to find other ships to destroy and bring back to base. But in future we may add another life support module or something in just to allow the capacity to increase on this place. So again, we've got two of these because this room is quite large. Even with the two, it's quite slow. I did add a third one, but it looked a bit odd. I hate odd numbers, so I took it out. I could have added four, but that'd probably been really excessive. So we got a kitchen here, which again is quite open plan. It's got you know everything it needs. So the whole idea is your men can grab their food and go and eat it in here, which is sort of separated via this glass partition with the beds. So you can't really um, bother people while they're sleeping or bother people while they're eating. Yeah, that's quite nice and then in here the bathrooms are going to be difficult because what I found was because a bathroom is a separate room and the doors are air sealed you need to have your own oxygen supply in the toilets so you need these vents in the toilet just be wary of that guys so if you are in survival and you want to build something like a bathroom in here for whatever reason just for aesthetic purposes or just for role playing purposes be careful because these rooms do need oxygen as well so I've got this, ha I had to set this up here because I, I, w I, op I you know, shut the door in here and it came up saying no oxygen so I was like no, I've got no oxygen, what do I do and I, I barely got space in here as it is because it's only a 2x2 two two. I just put it in the side of the wall but uh, yeah, it's quite nice. I, I think I've got most of, you know, what the station needs to be about in here. This door leads onto the other pod, which isn't done yet. There it is. There's that decompression effect. So if we just close that door back up, that should reseal. But this pod here is going to be the con like the control pod, so it's going to be where everything happens from. So it might be a big spire that sticks up out here. That will be where your commanders will be to guide ships in and tell them where to park etc etc so I think it's coming on pretty well from my sort of first proper station my first proper go at building the station I think it's going well and with the whole introduction of oxygen it's really gave me this spurt of inspiration to do more with it because you can only do so much with a large ship but with a station it's a static you know item in space and it doesn't need to move so you can do a lot more 
and you can add like you know lots and lots of variants of things because with this I still want to add something that involves grinding so either like a grinding bay because of course when ships come in and they brought a scrapped other ship in they you know you need to have a an area to just grind up the ships so I may have like an area for for different sections of ships like a mining ship a grinding ship and a welding ship just as like um support vehicles but for now this is what I've got so I hope you guys have enjoyed having a look around this and I hope you guys are having a good week so if you guys have enjoyed then please like favorite and of course subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next episode peace